I thank God. I thank God. Thank you, Father in heaven, God, that you are God, the Lord, the Savior, Lord God, that you are my Father. Thank you for caring for me so much, so much. Be encouraged. Be encouraged. Be encouraged. Spiritual warfare is real. Spiritual warfare is very real. This is not a particular sermon today. This is more of just like a prophetic flow. Excuse me. And this is just words of encouragement. This is for uplifting, uplifting. This is for all the children of God right now that is currently going through, going through spiritual attacks, going through, um, you know, um, just demonic affliction, um, you know, spirits that are not of your spirits that are coming against you. You are strong. You will prevail. You are the head. You are not the tail. You know, don't get discouraged because, you know, um, this comes with the territory. It is a part of walking with God. And, um, you know, just keep the faith. Keep the faith. Be strengthened. When you fall, you get back up. When you fall, fall. When you fall, you fall in the right position. Fall down to your knees. Call out to God. Jesus. I need you. Jesus, help me. God, send me your angels. God, send me help. God is faithful to do so. He is faithful to do so. What God has for your life is for your life. Nobody, no devil, no demon, no demonic energy, no demonic force, no one can take that from you. Nobody, nobody. What God gives to you is yours. What God gives to you is yours. What God says is true. God is all truth. God is all pure. God is all holy. God is not wicked. God does not lie. What God says is true. We have to meditate on that. We got to meditate on that. Because we live in a world where the world is wicked. We're used to lies. We're used to people calling us. Used to people deceiving us. Do not believe what you see in the natural don't believe it i don't care what it look like i don't care if you're sitting outside evicted don't believe it i don't care if you don't have no food to eat i don't care if you haven't ate in three days don't believe that don't accept that that is not your portion we gotta learn our portion we have to learn our portion lately i've been going through Going through, going through the motions. I'm human. Depression, anxiety, you know, being downcast in my spirit. When you're trying to uplift, when you're trying to encourage, you're, you're pouring out. You pour out. If you're consistently pouring out, someone has to pour into you. You have to be poured into. If it's one thing I want to do in my life, I want to leave this world empty. Empty. I want to be empty. I want to give everything of me, every inch, every inch, all my energy. I want to spread it, give it out. There's so much negativity in the world, so much death in the world, so much killing in the world. Anything is possible when you believe and hold on to God. You don't just believe and hold on to God. Then when you get what you want, you just walk away. You have to believe God every minute, every second of the day. I rebuke and bind the spirit of confusion in the name of Jesus. Satan get behind me in the name of Jesus. You have no authority in my life. You have no position in my life. You have no rights to my life. In the name of Jesus, I cast down every high and lofty thought, imagination that is coming up against the knowledge and the wisdom of my Lord, my Savior, Jesus Christ. I cast you into the pits of hell, the abyss, where you shall not return or send another in your place. 
Father, God in heaven, my Lord Jesus Christ, my Savior, you reign. You sit on the throne of my heart. That's who I follow. That's who I obey. I won't stop. I'm not going to stop. I won't give up. Giving up is not for the children of God. Be strong in this hour. If we can't make it through this hour, we don't stand a chance for what's really coming. We don't stand a chance. God didn't tell us it was going to be easy. God didn't tell us that. God told us about trials, tribulations, persecutions, backslidings of many kinds, falling short of the glory of God. God told us that we were born in sin. We were born into it. We will sin. We are sinful. We are wicked. We are not righteous. God says a righteous man follows but seven times. But he gets back up. And I'm paraphrasing. You gonna fall. Get back up. Get back up. Find your inner strength. If you can't get back up, Jesus. Just say Jesus. Jesus. He gonna come. You keep the faith. You be strengthened. And don't let nobody stop the work that God is doing in you. This is not the end. This is only the beginning. Persevere. Push through. Because they're going to push through. The adversary, the enemy, they're going to push through. They work day and night. In the Bible, it says that Satan is a full-time accuser. A full-time. He got all the time in the world. He has a, That's his full-time job. Learn how to be a full-time worker for Jesus Christ. Be full-time for holiness. Be full-time in what you believe in telling you now y'all ain't gonna stop this glow at all in the name of jesus amen